Hi, this is Tim. Today we're going to talk about some different ways to do start-stop motor programming in Allen Bradley's Micro 820 PLC using Rockwell Automation's Connected Components Workbench software. So previously in some videos, we've gone over one basic start-stop and we've gone over a latch unlatch that we can use for a start-stop. Today I just want to show you a few other ways that I see and talk about a few of the differences in them. So we're gonna open up our basic start stop program from a few videos ago, and I'll put a link in the description where you can download it. And in it, if you just wanna quickly rewrite it, it was just this single rung right here. So this was the basic start stop circuit. Press start, green light comes on, press stop, green light goes off. And I went through a very long explanation of how this worked in the previous video. So I'm not gonna go deep into the step-by-step -step scans of this. But now let's add three other variations of a start-stop just to show how they function a little differently. So let's add a rung. And in fact, let's just, just highlight rung one and let's copy and paste. We're gonna use the same green light and red light for all of them. So that part will stay the same. Take your stop button, just click on it and start dragging it. You'll see plus signs where you could put it anywhere. In fact, you could even drag it to another rung. We're gonna drag it right to the beginning of this. And this is another very common way of doing start stops. Now let's change this to our yellow light. And actually that will be output one. And then the next one is the red light. And output three is the blue light. So we're gonna use the yellow light and we're also gonna change this to the yellow light. All right, let's copy and paste this yellow light rung. And all we're gonna do this time is we're gonna drag that stop button over to the right side. This is another way you'll see it a lot. And let's change this to our red light. So change it both in your branch and your output to the red light. And now for our final one, let's use the set and reset instruction. So let's use the direct call examine if closed. And we are going to look at our start button. And then let's use the set instruction. And let's use the blue light. Now let's add one more rung and bring down the direct call examine if closed and we will use the stop button and the reset and this again will go to our blue light and let's download that program and if you need any help downloading your program or even download and installing the connected components workbench software then look in the description. I'll put a link to a whole playlist that goes through that start to finish. If we press the green button, all four of our lights come on. We press the red button, all four of our lights go off. And that's it on the surfaces program. But there is one big variation that you see in this. And this is not right and it's not wrong. It is a matter of preference for the, usually actually the maintenance personnel. If you press the red stop button and then press the green start button, rung one is gonna allow that motor or whatever load to run. And a lot of times maintenance personnel like this because if they're testing something, they can bump the motor and just kind of check rotation or check whatever, but they don't have to worry about it winding up and taking off. It's not a right thing, it's not a wrong thing. It just is something you'll see out there. Now in our next video, we're gonna talk about some of the variations of these four rungs on power up that you at least need to be aware of. Again, not that it's right, not that it's wrong. They will act a little bit differently. Till next time.